In this video, we are going to capture data from our second setup. We will learn about the layout of Field360 on board and start data capture from there. Then back on the tablet, verify the completed setup, link the second setup to the first setup, and then move the scanner to the next setup with the Viz technology active. With the scanner at the second setup, we can leave the tablet connected and control the scanner on board instead. Let's first have a look at the layout of Field360 on board. At the top we have the status bar. We can also tap on here to access the less commonly changed scanner settings. Here we have our current job name. Notice that it matches to the job we created on the tablet. We can also access job management to create a new job or delete jobs from the scanner. Any new jobs created on board would be named job 001, job 002, etc. Similar to the tablet, the estimated time for data capture is shown based on the current settings. The settings are laid out exactly the same as on the tablet, where we can change the resolution and toggle the imagery, double scan and viz on or off. Note that the settings have been synchronised with the settings on the tablet. This was done when the scan was started from the tablet. If we change any settings on board, they will not be synchronised back to the tablet. Finally, at the bottom, the number of setups in the current job is displayed, and by tapping on it, we can access the previews of our setups. Tapping on a setup will open a more detailed view or we can delete the setup if necessary. Back in the start screen, we'll simply press start to begin data capture. Once the scanner is in operation, the screen turns red and indicates the scanner's progress and time left to complete the setup. We will move back to the tablet so that we can link our setups. The setup is now complete and we will go to the map view with the last setup highlighted. As the viz was active when the scanner was moved between the first and second setup, we can see that the second scan has appeared in approximately the correct location, relative to the first setup. We can now link the scans by pressing link. We need to select the first and second setup to link. The setup names will appear at the top of the screen and the link icon will appear between the two setups. To start the alignment mode, press either the link icon or the start alignment button. Our two setups are coloured differently in cyan and orange. Here we could select the setups and adjust their position and orientation to visually align them. However, as Viz has basically done this job for us, we do not need to do this. We can simply press the optimise button. Field360 performs a cloud-to-cloud optimization on the preview data of the two setups to try and position them better. If you watch closely, you will see the setup snap to the other setup, indicating that the two setups can successfully be registered later in the office. Once successful, the optimize button will turn gray. We can fix our two setups together by pressing the create link button. The two setups have been linked into a bundle, and here we see the bundle selected, indicated by the blue color. We can also select individual setups by tapping on them within the bundle. Now we can take a look at the different views available to us. The 360 degree view allows us to see the data in a panoramic view from the selected setup position. We can pan around and zoom to any detail. We can view the data with different colour mapping, such as rainbow intensity, different grayscale intensities, or real colour from the imagery. We can switch to different setups using the forward and backward buttons. The slider bar now adjusts the exposure of the data, and we can also press the auto exposure button, which automatically adjusts the exposure whilst we navigate to different areas of interest. 
We can also make a slope distance measurement from this view by pressing the measure button. We navigate the crosshairs to the first point, tap the screen, then navigate to the second point and tap the screen again. The distance appears and we can save this measurement to the job. Now we will take a quick look at the 3D view. The 3D view allows us to explore our data in full 3D by being able to pan, zoom, and rotate the data around. We can even fly through the data by tapping this button here, enabling us with a bit of practice to fly through the data, a bit like in a computer game. In this view, the slider bar adjusts the pixel size of the scan points to help improve the visibility. We are happy that our two setups are linked together correctly into a bundle, so now it's time to move to our third setup. As previously, we will carry the scanner to the next setup location with the Viz active.